This is the wooden frame of the Faraday box for the generator. There's actually a little bit of room to store some other stuff in there. But the vertical members right there are because this is going to sit most of the time and the top like every flat surface will end up having stuff set on it so I might as well make it strong enough to support that. I've already put a coat of two coats of exterior latex on the bottom and that's dry. Now I can set it on that surface and paint the rest of it before I cover it in the screening and the galvanized metal. But that's where it is so far. So here's the twice painted frame wrapped in the aluminum window screening mesh. Next I'll put on the metal top. Now the aluminum mesh has been attached all the way around and there is some galvanized ducting that I had bought at Home Depot. One corner was severely bent so they gave me a heck of a bargain. Like I said, this is going to be unused more than it will be used so the top surface will be storage. So now I at least have something besides the screening to put things on and if I do set this outside it'll offer a little bit of protection from the rain or snow along with the paint and I've added a couple of handles to help me lift it on and off over the generator all right so here's the completed Faraday cage sitting on the mat made of the same aluminum mesh that the cage is wrapped in. I think I've got about $40 invested in all of it. All right, so I don't know exactly how valid of a test this is, but inside here I've got a little radio and it's tuned to a very strong AM station and you are not hearing even static right now but if I lift the box Incredible free offer today as soon as I break the seal ever this is their... no radio waves can get through this at all I'll lift it again free extract plus a thousand units of vitamin D plus of fruit XB boron Here's how it works. And I do the same thing with an FM station that's very close and local. So when it's sitting on that mat, it does a pretty good job of blocking any RF signal, radio frequency signals coming in. Here is that same radio station, but I removed the aluminum mesh mat from underneath the generator so there's no shielding from the concrete side up so I'm not getting any shielding at all makes no difference so that layer of shielding on the sixth side the bottom side is key to making this work and as I said for the most part it'll just sit in storage now the generator is in the back storeroom with ample propane and fuel on hand to power it and a little bit of solar as well so there you have it here is another faraday cage i made with a galvanized can lined with cardboard inside are more faraday cages i.e popcorn tins lined with cardboard so inside of that is aluminum foil wrapped items 
so they're triple Faraday caged. And then, last but not least, the lid goes on and around the seam of the lid goes this aluminum tape. The same thing with the popcorn tins. Each of them will get wrapped around the seam with the aluminum tape as will around here. So that's another Faraday cage with other you know, cell phones, laptops, radios, uh, other sensitive electronic uh, devices. There's a, a Jackery solar generator in there. All manner of stuff that I'm just trying to protect. It's all spare stuff that I bought extras of that I just sit here should the time arise that I need it.